days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow, but my heart beats fast. When these eyes are looking right at you, right at you, you give me something to believe in, just what I need it. I am feeling very happy. <laughs> just, Good. I, I can't put my finger on it, but yes, I don't have gloom and doom as a I love as, it. The, I love as it. the as the default that I gotta fight through every day because I'm like, this how we get here? Like that used to be how I opened yeah. every show. How did we get here? Now I'm like, look at the teeth. Everyone's smiling. <laughs> I love it. We should be happy. And, and let me just say this, right? If you're the kind of person that brings gloom and doom. Why, you know, like, why do you want to follow somebody that brings so much disaster and division and angst and anger and hatred and all? Like, when I listen to Vice President, soon to be, you know, President uh, elect Kamala Harris speak, it's about America, unity, coming together, hope, the future, you know, building the world that we want to live in, not the world that was, you know, it's like all of that kind of messaging should be something that everyone goes, yeah, you know what? I do want to live in a world where everybody's free. I do want to live in a world where people don't feel bad about themselves. or have to run and hide into a closet or a corner to, to just be, you know, and now you're throwing other stuff on Like this whole childless thing is backfiring because most, uh, I just read this story, this story that, um, first of all, the world is childless. Um, there's right. whole nations that are like, I have a choice now. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm probably yeah not going to be doing that. But uh, mm -hmm. even in, a, in the United States, people young, younger than 50, um, it's a growing leap from 37% in 2018 to 47% of people under the age of 50 in 2023, according to a new Pew Research Center survey, are not or choosing not to have children. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we out here winning. We doing it, y'all. We almost got them. Yeah, but you, but <laughs> I'm gonna say this. Um, I don't even think we should be doing that. Do you? Like, you know, yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, it's not, but, but that's not what I'm clapping for. It, there shouldn't even be I, like, right, oh, but, let's we'll celebrate people who don't have children. It, well, I'm not. I'm not just, clapping like we don't have kids. Yay! I, I'm clapping for the freedom. It's like it's like when you see the divorce rate. There's two ways to look at the divorce rate. The first one is, man, the divorce rate is going up high. People don't make them like they used to. We don't stick together. The second one is, if you ever seen somebody go through a divorce, it's like, oh, so you you realized this wasn't working and you went to go find some happy, right? Women used to didn't have a choice. You had to stay married. Grandma may want your granddaddy and his secret family like that wasn't always a happy <laughs> that wasn't always a happy situation why, why you put why you bringing a family business in you like know what that I'm saying? <laughs> you know what i'm saying like when she a woman you said grandma a, didn't want the secret the secret she didn't, family she didn't want them showing up at the funeral she didn't have a choice when a woman couldn't have her own bank account maybe she had a little less options on what she could do when she couldn't own property and stuff like that so when we see that stuff that actually is about freedom freedom of choice so when you see people that's not having kids that's also freedom of choice because you have to break a lot of conditioning you're gonna have to break a few hearts you know you have to look your parents in the face and be like that's not in the cars that's not what we want to do and i do applaud that freedom you know there's there's other elements to it but like it's it's not like me going i hope nobody has kids it's just more like a okay cool man because it Right. It's not it's not quote unquote normal for everybody to look around at this and be like, let's bring some more people in it. That'll fix it. Cause it's really not gonna be the solution to everything, right. especially when you're dealing right. with exorbitant amounts of debt, you're dealing with climate change, you're dealing with uh white nationalism and fascism on the horizon. People like it's okay to look around this world as the same rational person and be like, I'm not sure I want to bring a child into this. Not and that's not knocking anybody that that got kids. I'm I love being a great, a good uncle. I love. See, I was gonna, I was gonna say though, you weren't, you, you weren't an only child, right? And you're yeah. not the. Are you the oldest? I'm the oldest. Yep. You're the oldest, but not the only child, and you have a sibling that has children. Like, yeah, yeah, exactly. And I mean, so I love on them. You know, so your parents, you know, there's a lot of pressure. My whole thing was, I'm not carrying a family name. Leave me alone. Mm. <laughs> like, <laughs> leave me alone. Leave me alone. <laughs> not carrying a family name. <laughs> like, yeah. Leave me alone. Oh my goodness. And then you know what else, Karen? Okay. You know what else? Yes, yes, Roderick. 
we don't talk about how a lot of pressure is on people to have children right. Like just having children, not enough. You know, we want you to have that that two parent stable household. Everybody co and we put pressure on people that don't conform to that or don't something happens and it don't fit. That's one of the reasons the divorce. No, how many people don't get divorced? They not happy, but they like the, we can't have it look like this for the kids. Kids while grow up seeing their parents unhappy. They think that's what marriage is. It's it's a lot more complicated than just the statistics and stuff. That's all I'm saying. You you a and if anyone um is in line with like Charlie Kirk let me let me play um I mean the Charlie Kirk just say Charlie Kirk is uh what's what's the name of the um the, the, he's the one that brought the busload of people to the black church he had a conference he has like a man conference for men to show up to be men and this Christian thing <laughs> this mm -hmm. Christian thing uh conference he has because he's a Christian but he said this uh recently. The Wait. childless are the ones that are destroying the are destroying the country. You could be good without children, but if you're bad, you probably don't have children. That that is my that is my rule for for the dis decline of the West. So you know, what do we do with that? Eight six six. What does that mean? Two five five. Well, I guess he, like I'm, as he was doing it, I was thinking, did John Wayne Gacy have children? Did the son of Sam have children? Did uh, Timothy McVeigh, because I'm thinking about that. Did the person that shot up the people in Charleston have children? Did the person that shot up the people in Buffalo have children? Who was the one? Um, did George Zimmerman have children? Like, I'm thinking of bad people. Does Kyle Rittenhouse right. have children? You know, he may have a point. You know, like I was, right. I was going there. You know, My thing is, <laughs> like, who's, who defines good and bad? Because did Hitler, like, what, did Hitler have children? Hmm, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. He had, well, the, he, had the, he had the Hitler youth. You know, he that's was, true. Well, those took a lot of yeah, children. They come his from his ring. loins. Yeah. No, but I'm saying like there's mm -hmm. there's uh, there's a place that you can go and like fall in line. But this is the problem with this kind of rhetoric. You know, right. you can make the case for anything well, and also, come out on the on the side. Who decides who's good and bad? Because I think Donald Trump is bad. I do, too. He got, he got kids. He got multiple kids from different women and everything. And they all up in his all throughout his organizations and stuff. And I think they spread more badness. Maybe, maybe we'd be better off with less kids for people that are going to spread white right. white nationalism. Right, right. But I'm I'm curious from our audience's perspective. Um, who is in alignment with this notion that like we should get back to quote unquote family values, two parent household? Because I'm talking to black people right now mostly, uh, and I think a lot of y'all actually, you know, my my dad was big on his father never leaving and taking care of all of the kids and he's going to be there no matter what, you know, it's like there was this edict, you know, in our household that was like, this is how you do it. Two parents. He didn't even want me to play with children that didn't have two parents. I was like, what's this? Wow. Them kids ain't got nothing to do with that. I, I was, I used to fight with my father about that all the time. I was like, what does that have to do with anything? We play in, we play in. And oh no, it's wild, but he didn't even want me to be around wow. people that didn't have two parents. Like that's how invested he was in it. So I, that's, I that's I'm interested because yes. my dad used to take kids under his wing that didn't have like two parents. Like in our neighborhood. When I was young, I didn't understand it. I'd be like, I'm your son. Like, what's the point see, in them? But see, but see how that is? Cause my dad had a store where he would employ the kids from the from the neighborhood. Right. But I couldn't play with those kids. You understand? Right. So it was That's okay wild. for him to mentor and for him to hire or what have you, but for his children, he wanted to, you know, maintain this, you know, this this whatever that was. Mm. Uh That's it was wrong. Uh, yeah. And I was like, that makes no sense. He also had some very interesting. I think he might have been a Trump supporter had he still been here because he has some mm. interesting views on immigration. You know, right. people coming here, you know, like I'm saying. Like, That's another wild. thing I would like to yes. ask Charlie Kirk, by the way, is what's your stance on immigration? Because a lot of y'all's anti-immigration talking points is about the fact that Latino people come here and have a lot of kids. But you just said good people have kids, bad people don't. What are, so are they bad people? We shouldn't be letting them in the country. Are they actually better people than us? Because they have more kids than white people are having right now. So oh, why see. are we why are we trying to bring them in the country? I, I just have questions for stuff like that because it's it's such a generalized term that doesn't mean anything. My days are cooler, nights are warmer, and I put the blame on you. Time moves slow. Heartbeats faster yeah. When these eyes are 
looking right at you, right at you. You give me something to believe in, just what I need.